So we are at Vetsi Street. Sorry about my camera, I'm occupied with a beer on another hand. I do recommend this one. A red Ale Drecher. It costs about 380 forints. That's a little more than one euro in a shop, so it's not really expensive. So you should get it. It's really nice, so you should get it. <laughs> We're in the capital of Hungary, Budapest. <laughs> so we're walking down the street. It's no problem if you walk with a beer in your hand. It's perfectly legal, it's not like America, so... <laughs> it's Europe. Lots and lots of tourists, especially Chinese, Japanese, and of course European. There's the bridge. We have to wait for the green light, so here it is. And there's another green one. So this is the main walking street of Budapest, Hungary. Don't go to bars here or restaurants because they are just a tourist trap and they are very overpriced so if you walk two, three streets down you will get normal prices. So let us continue down the road. Lots of tourist shops where you can buy different souvenirs. I think they're all overpriced, so again, go to our free streets inside to get a better price. So we're in capital Hungary, Budapest. On Vetsi Street, the most famous walking street in Budapest. Here's how you lock your luggage. <laughs> Yes. 
<laughs> Lots of Asians working here, massages, stuff like that, <laughs> and cooking. Lots of Chinese, Vietnamese food for two or three euros per meal, so that's a very good option if you're on budget. But of course not on this street. You have to go inside the city to find a good prices. So it's supposed to be very busy, but you can easily get the table so. Don't mind the sign. There is another statue figure and more Chinese tourists. They ask him not where to go, so <laughs> we're following his way. <laughs> Lots of doggy dogs for your dog lovers. And of course, beggars. Hello, what but? <laughs> oh no, we're in capital of Christian world, so. <laughs> that was just my joking. Lots of Russians, of course. So you can see a lot of beautiful Russian ladies, so <laughs> white Hungarians, maybe beautiful little I don't know <laughs> how you pronounce that. So I'm out of beer, so this this guy goes back by. Uh, no cheap places to buy beer here, except on the end of the street when you have a big market and underneath you have Aldi which is Lidl in Europe so there the chip store you can buy beer there near to the bridge don't take these guys they will rip you off here, poor suckers that are over paying for their drinks and eat food. Yeah. Don't go there. So we are almost at the end of the street. Hard Rock Cafe, another one that will rip you off <laughs> a lot of dollars, euros, whatever you have. <laughs> they will take everything, foreign, everything. So, my advice is just to go to a local bar, you will get a much better price. But if you want shopping, there's a lot of expensive stores here, so you can be free to shop anywhere you want. I'm not imposing my opinion, but I'm just saying. So this is, street is under renovation. And we're walking up the model street, or what is it called? I don't know. Something like that. There's a big X in the middle. So 
that's a good picture thing to do. And it's a nice view. So that's basically it. Okay, let me turn upside down. Sorry if the sun is blocking the view, but yeah, I cannot go against the sun. That's basically it. Let's continue our walk. We are going inside the Budapest, so that was the main tourist attraction that you can walk. And now we are coming to the real Budapest, so after this you can be free to explore any bars or shops, it's normal prices, normal Hungarian prices, so don't be overpaying in the street. Yeah, it's still a scarf, it's like 5 euros. A little more. You always have this sign, so you can use them to orient yourself. And here's the big X I was talking about. So we're approaching the big X. You can always have a seat, relax, watch the people go by. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do that because I'm a bit tired of all this walking. So this is the big X on the model street I think it's called. <laughs> people posing in front of it so you can sit down enjoy the view. Have a beer if you have one. I unfortunately don't have one because I drank it last time. And yeah. <laughs> Life sucks. <laughs> so here's our big X. <laughs> you know, uh, I'll find a shop maybe 100 to 100 meters up front. So we'll fix that problem. And for all yours, <laughs> people who, who cannot be without a beer <laughs> we'll get you suited don't worry just don't buy beer here because it's way overpriced so if you restrain yourselves for two minutes you'll your effort will be paid off believe me in a two two or three minutes after we enter this big x sign <laughs> Just let me show you back where you came from. So we came from there. Unfortunately, the sun is high up, shining down with all its heat. So, yeah. so we continue on Big X. To tell you the truth, I have no idea why that building is in front of me, but <laughs> if you like it, take a picture. That's what I do. So, another overpriced bar here. I can give you the prices right now. So, just pause the video for the prices. You have a happy hour. So, take this. No, but I recommend you continue walking. So, <laughs> we go on. If you want free Coca Cola. It's always free Coca-Cola in Hungary. <laughs> People know what's bad for them, so yeah. No, actually that was the very beautiful park with a big wheel. So I'll show you that later. So you can take a shortcut shortcut here. Or just continue walking to the big building. Yeah, here you can see the big Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel, yeah. I just remembered, yeah, my English kicked in, so there's the Ferris wheel. No, but we continue walking because that's another tourist trap in Budapest, so don't go there. Yeah, I mean, go there, but <laughs> we first continue here to see this big building that I don't know which is this, but it's nice, uh, imposant building, so why not? <laughs> So 
uh, Lacoste, Furla, I don't know what else. If you are a fan of those marks, that's the place for you. Panda bear. So, uh, we just continue. <laughs> you know where I'm continuing to. So. <laughs> Okay, enough for joking. Here you have, here you have some naked statues. Uh, sellers. Oh, it's very useful things. Okay. So here's metro station. If you need to use the metro, it's the best way to travel Budapest. So we continue our walk to the big unknown building. There's the church. Churchy thing building if you're a God believer. Oh, oops. I will go a little bit back and show you the big, another churchy thing there. That's very important churchy thing in Hungary. Don't ask me the name again. What do I know? It's just a beautiful churchy thing. And before we have this communist statue that looks like a worker. I can go there to present you with it. <laughs> And there we have Beton Maker and these tourist traps again with Ahmed selling them. Okay, so this is the communist thingy and there you see the Ferris wheel in behind. So the workers of, I don't know, Unite, whatever. I don't promote communism, but yeah, it's better than this shit. So yeah, there you have the this. There you have the Ferris wheel if you want to try. I don't know what the price is, you have to check on the internet. Oh, there you have the Majorosak thingy, Orban Victoria. Orban is the best. So that's basically it. Oh. And there's the park. There you can go to drink, to eat, to do whatever. But I try to find the Lidl or Spar or whatever shop to buy the cheap beer. Because. <laughs> Don't buy it in the bars, man. You can pay in the shop less than one euro for a beer. If you buy it for a bar, you'll pay like two euros. So, if you're on a budget, I'm also on the budget, so go to the shop. Yeah, that's basically it. Or you can sit here and drink a beer. It's a nice place, you see. Don't be afraid of Hungarians, they're okay. They will never approach you, not even police or whatever. You can easily drink a beer on a bench, you know. It's not America, man. <laughs> yeah. It's also Polish. And I don't know, the others are Hungarian or whatever. So I'll go check, check there if there's any cheap places to buy beer, I'm, I don't know. So it's better to go maybe over there to find a shop like Spar or Lidl. Uh, because otherwise they will all cheat you off. Not too much, maybe 100 uh, foreign, which is about 20, 30 euro cents. But still, if you're on a budget, that can mean a lot to you. It's a tram ride or I don't know what. Another beer after three beers. <laughs> okay, let's let let me take the cross picture again with a communist <laughs> monument in front of it. Yeah, so it's a nice scenery. I cannot complain. So I don't know what else to tell you about this place. It's nice to visit, of course. <laughs> I never complain about Hungary because they have really. Nice prices for food, for drinks. So with five euros you sh for per day, I mean, you can be enough to get drunk and to eat somewhere. Like for two, three euros, you can have a Chinese, Vietnamese, whatever that bullshit food is. Like three courses, that's really good price. And uh, wine in the shop, you can get it less for two euros for a bottle. And for beer, you usually pay one euro for a, for a half-liter can in the shop. 
or in other shops it's about 280 forints, which is less than two when that one euro it's like um, I don't know it's like 80 70 cents for a beer so you have two free and you're okay <laughs> so that's basically it now I go to search for shop <laughs> to buy beer or wine here more more Japanese Chinese I don't know <laughs> you tell me so we are continuing <laughs> over the road actually I, I decided to check this ferris wheel <laughs> I haven't been here before so let's see this this um, yeah <laughs> I got distracted so <laughs> if you get distracted don't worry it's a common uh, phenomena in uh, Budapest yeah also for the gender for the light gender thingy you can get distracted yeah <laughs> here's for the ladies if you get distracted okay if not we continue here <laughs> okay I'm a bad boy so we continue to the ferris wheel ah, there will definitely not be a shop there to buy beer so I'm just doing this for you guys to see this big ferris wheel here you have one monument, I don't know what it represents. Some guy playing a flute to the lambs, so it's kind of religious thing. So we go to the Ferris wheel. Yeah. You can always get distracted in Budapest. So. <laughs> That's my point exactly. And here we have gypsy music. Sounds like Kolo. It's like a circle dancing, so not really, but uh, not really Hungarian or more like Serbian, but okay. They dance kolo here too, and we have big kolo here. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's music. It's like gypsy music, so we have we go there. It's like gypsy music. That means they dance in the circle, and I don't know. You can join in if you want. But it's not Hungarian, this is typical Serbian music. All Bulgarian, don't worry, I, I haven't forget about my brothers in uh, Bulgari. Bulgaria, Izvinite. Izvinite! Izvinjavam se! Takashte i dva moje tuk da vidime ciganite. So we are going here to see the gypsies. He doesn't sell beer, so don't worry. This is Kolo. It's a circle dancing from Balkans. So, if you are Serbian, Croatian, Slovenian, Bulgarian, Romanian, all this is our music. That's how you dance. And all the people filming, they're Hungarian. Obviously, Majoristos, Nimayo, Tako, Daznate, Judy. Ali, it's good uh, tourist uh, thingy, so it's a good thing. And there you see the official Hungarian TV. Cameraman in front of the tent. Oh yeah. Oh, it's always good fun to dance colo, so whenever here you should try it uh, or in Balkans. It's the most uh, popular thing to do. Fun, you will meet a lot of people, they will be very friendly, so do it.
no idea what he's saying because Hungarian is the most difficult language in the world. So <laughs> keep that in mind. But that was Kolo. I don't know how it's called in Hungarian, so it was Kolo from Balkans. So this is Balkan country and we are in Balkans. So keep that in mind when you come to Hungary. So this is the big Ferris wheel I wanted to show you. Yeah, the sun is up there, so the footage cannot be good. This is the fountain in front of it, so yeah, take a look. So we are still on the mission on finding me, <coughs> sorry, some beer to drink, so I don't know. I'm just exploring it right now. So, if you understand what she's saying, yeah, go there, do that. As she says, follow the program. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. We continue down the road. This big park, you have this Ferris wheel here. And you have this uh, money stealers, as I call them. So, yeah, look at those people. They're so un unhappy. They have paid like 50 euros or something <laughs> to drive the thing. <laughs> what can you do? So, there's the, <laughs> the statue with the bird on his head shitting down <laughs> his whatever helmet or whatever he's got there. This is the. Oh, I can take you to see the prices. Ah, it's here. So, to ride this Ferris wheel. You will have to pay 10 euros as a normal person. If you're a child, don't worry, your parents will pay for it, so you will <laughs> only pay 5 euros. If you're a family, the family ticket is like 26 euros and you will get two adults and two children. So that's a good deal, I think. And if you're like a disabled person or in retirement, you will pay um, 9 euros per person. But remember, you always have to have your slips, whatever, even American or whatever. As long as it says you retire or whatever. Yeah, that's basically it. There's a toilet there, of course it's payable. I think it's about... I will tell you exactly. It's uh, 300 hoof. So it means it's 300 Hungarian foreign. So that's about uh, a little. Uh, it's a one euro. Don't worry, one euro, one dollar, whatever. They will take all. <laughs> they will take all your money. So just have one euro bills or one uh, not bills, one dollar bills or one euro um, coins with you. They will take it also because they will be happy because they will get 24 in profit. You know. <laughs> so there's <laughs> there's the free free toilets with a queue. So you can always go there to save the one euro, you know? It's one beer, man. One beer, 